Hello, hello, hello. Today, we're going to go over the uh, Korean patch notes or like updates, pretty much the global labs in Korea, essentially. And the main thing that I wanted to kind of discuss and just go over, which is going to be the change of the skill add-ons, which are going to be pretty huge. Uh, I'll put a link down below if you guys want to read the whole thing yourselves. I'm not going to go over the whole thing because uh, I just quite frankly don't get paid enough to do that. So we're just uh, we're going to go over what I want to talk about specifically. So essentially here in this section, it goes over how all the skill add-ons are now virtually going to be T3 add-ons and they're going to be universal to the timings of your skills. So like if your skill cooldown is seven seconds, then the add-on will last that seven seconds, essentially. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that per se, because some skills like uh, like some of the things need to overlap into the other section. So that way you can power up certain abilities later in a combo, especially when you're doing lengthy combos. Some of those are necessary, but we'll see what, what you know what that's about. Those very specific to certain classes, but also having everything tuned up to level three add-ons or tier three, that's going to be an interesting one because i feel like certain classes are going to benefit more so than others it'll be really nice for the classes that have less damage per se and they don't have a lot of great add-ons that will boost their damage or whatever like warrior for example um the only t3 add-on we have is reckless blow right and it's a really good add-on don't get me wrong that's a super heat add-on but there are some other skills that i would rather enjoy uh having a t3 add-on versus reckless blow like balance strike for one i i use balance strike to cancel into like everything so a level three balance strike add-on is going to be uh kind of crazy <laughs> my cancels are about to get wild with this add-on I'm, I'm just saying like i some of the shit that i'm gonna do with these add-ons is is going to be heat it, it it's gonna increase damage by a shit ton but also i think that some of the other classes that are going to have major major advantages are going to be range classes i was talking to another friend of mine at a party earlier and he was telling me that like luther gons is like a fucking like level two add-on and shit now it's going to be a three along with some other abilities ranger as well is going to have a huge amount of time imagine just a, like a level three fucking what, what is that skill uh the, the the not tearing arrow but i mean that one probably is crazy too but like what is the the the, the arrow raining a skill i forgot what it's called I, I can't remember what it's called but descending current that shit level three on that and that's got a massive hit radius too and that, that that's going to be crazy like i don't know how i feel about it i feel like if they go through with it they're gonna have to go and tune certain classes pvp reduction probably up by a little bit to even it out but also at the same time subsequently i feel like everybody in the game is getting more and more tankier and that's a problem uh not because like people are too tanky well i mean that is the issue but not because like being tanky is bad because that was the issue right on console we had like level uh what is it like c20 basic weapons because we had pen black stars but we, we were capped at c9 for the longest time and even prior to that we still had black stars but we're capped at c5 at one time so the maximum amount of like dp we could have was like 300 and like 60 and that was like the top end without like you know narcs and shit which you could reach like 380 maximum without you know running distos and shit and basically everybody that had gear you would just fly in one shot a guy and then like th that's it right so we were too squishy so obviously crystal and more dp needed to be added to the game via you know the, the new han hooms the heyte fragments the bitterness crystals all of that stuff needed to be added in because we were just one shotting everybody so now that we have those on console people are incredibly tanky i myself i'm like almost unkillable on my succession warrior like it takes like at least four people just wailing on me unless it's like some full ap like human damage person you're not gonna kill me very easily so it, it gets absurd right it gets you're getting to the point now in both pc and console both areas are now reaching the point where we are just too tanky so maybe this is a way to increase damage across the board to allow you know less um what's the word here like less uh less tankiness or to have people do more damage in general to avoid everybody just having to combo somebody out for you know an hour because that's what it feels like right now it feels like when you get somebody on the floor especially evasion players you drop them on the floor and if they actually are geared like dude you're you're comboing them for an hour 
power before <laughs> fucking before you even before you even get anywhere and same thing for dr builds if you got like a dr valk or warrior you're comboing that motherfucker for an eternity before he finally dies and that shit's getting absurd it's like at what point do you just get to have fun and play the game and have fun with mechanics versus just now i'm just killing this person as a chore you know what i mean that it should never feel that way bdo has some of the best combat in the game in, or in just the entire industry realistically out of everybody they have the best combat out of the entire industry and right now killing people is starting to feel like a chore and i think they need to do something to fix that and this is a step in the right direction some other things could also be done but that's you know for another video so if you guys want to go through the rest of this stuff um you can i'm not going to go read through any of this shit because one i'm a fucking moron and i'm not even going to remotely try and dice dissect this this is like i i, I needed i need a degree in hieroglyphics before i can even figure this shit out so we're just going to avoid this pretty sure this right here is basically saying there's a mer a, like a lantern merchant out in moodle village and uh you can now like do the notices or whatever the f whatever the item is <laughs> that you're gonna need here remember this is translated so just bear with the translation and essentially you can exchange the items for you know crystals if you guys are still don't have the new crystals looks like you might be able to get them via whatever this is here so this is cool if you don't have any of the items or anything like that out in the land of the morning light uh the new crystal so th this will at least get you somewhere you know in, in the in between and eventually you'll be able to get the actual crystal and then turn it into the you know the tier and whatnot so this will be good for like the gurin's tier which is very sought after uh it's very hard to get get your hands on so this will be you know a decent way to get that and here as the weekly loot for the black shrine content has been increased measures will be taken to ensure the black shrine loot obtained in the week prior to the official server update can be obtained with increased loot after the update for korean servers black shrine loot cannot be obtained until the end of the regular maintenance 11 12 whatever uh, increased loot can be obtained after the regular maintenance 11 15 for global servers 11 and then this time whatever the hell i don't who cares i, I gotta be honest land of the morning lights kind of dead content for most people like i just go there do my bosses and then call it a day like i just that's i never go back there other than to do turn in my purple mushrooms i never go back there so this means really nothing but for those of you that enjoy it it is it, it'll it'll be cool to see increased updates i guess that but that's that's about it or increased loot what the hell is this supposed to be the void moretta introduced once the black desert research introduced now freely to roam the vast waters of magoria and is preparing to appear on the official server unlike the magorian pirate fleet the void moretta is very rarely found among captains across okay so sea content cool all right there you go Boom. there you go magoria pirates there you go i'm sure you guys will have a ton of fun with that oh shit manos log okay so what is this like extra just in general how to get it three melodic energies five mano stones 50 fragments of garbage and then whatever the hell this nonsense is uh, you get sailing experience oh okay this, this is pretty cool all right pretty it's pretty nice i'll fuck with that it's cool i mean it's mainly like sea content shit so that'll be cool for sailors that enjoy that kind of stuff so you know that's nice okay i don't know what the hell oh okay so this is like reef and pathing uh pathfinding imp improvements so essentially uh you'd have this garbage that was just poking out of the water so like whenever you would go on your damn boat and then you just get stuck you're like what am i stuck on and then you just you, you go on the water and then you just see this fucking dumbass shit down below yeah so they just got rid of you know random garbage like this that was just not that it just did not need to be there it just did not need to be there so this is nice i actually i I actually like this I, I, don't, I don't know about okay they removed this thing over here which was again protruding on the top and you can see all this extra garbage and now it's just you know gone so actually for pathing in the ocean this will be nice now this this is a big one all right boys this is this is the this is the shit right here now you're going to be pissed and happy at the same time so following the addition of the quest to obtain a garmoth heart under the name records of the ancient kingdom of orzeka a new quest to obtain the heart of garmoth has been added while records of the ancient kingdom of the orzeka was a way to acquire the heart of garmoth through various activities and growth through a long period of time and money essentially complete bullshit but yeah added a method is to simply proceed with existing quests to kill garmoth this is a way to obtain the heart of garmoth by collecting items one by one in addition we have increased the maximum price limit on the integrated exchange so cm essentially so that the heart of garmoth can be traded more fluidly increase the anticipation of defeating garmoth aka Kronmoth, and making the acquisition garmoth bloodstone feeling more meaningful okay now this is a good thing because now you know at least you can get your hands on a garmoth so that will be cool 
cool. That will actually feel a little nice having like little pity pieces for the Garmoth and everything. So that'll be cool. Now, here's the problem though. Uh, all the Garmoths that are currently selling on the market um, will no longer be sold. So until this update arrives on console, pretty much nobody is ever going to sell a Garmoth heart because they're just going to wait for the price increase. They'll sell eventually, but you're not going to get one for nine bill anymore. You, that's just not going to happen. Uh, everybody that gets a Garmoth heart now is essentially going to hoard it until the update comes out because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm currently sitting on fucking three. So there you go. Kind of sucks because we're probably not going to get this update for a good bit. So Garmoths are going to be dry for a while. So just good luck if you do get one. But like, yeah, it's been pretty tough um, in general to get Garmoths. They were selling like candy before. I mean, shit, I, I had three pre-orders of inverted sell to me. Uh, I just got carried as fuck on those pre-orders. But like outside of that, though, uh, I don't think any Garmoths are going to be sold until we get this because everyone's just going to wait for the price increase and just get, you know, rack up a shit ton of money. And I mean, there's at least five to 10 people in every single guild that is getting at least one Garmoth heart every time they do the guild boss. So that's going to be a lot of Garmoths that are going to be in in like you know flotation there i guess you could say or just in rotation whatever you want to call it and essentially they're just going to drop them all on day one and then the prices are going to like drop to min bid because everyone's just going to try and sell their price sell their garmouth heart for a higher price so it's going to take a while for them to rise to 20 and then they're probably going to like sit at like maybe 10 15 maybe around there we'll see because i just imagine and it's going to be worse than when the you know when, when the when the infinite pots got on the market you know they're just going to drop that shit immediately and that price is just going to stay real low for the longest time and as you can see 9.1 20 so that's that'll be crazy so and they also fixed the uh for the quest of, of the one odalita they changed the Nuver scales. Obviously, before you were getting like absolutely terrible Nuver scales, you were getting two to three, and now you're getting five to seven. In my personal opinion, this is not that much better. I would have rather seen 10 to 15 that that would have been at least something five to seven really really a two to three increase come, come, no this needed to be 10 to 15 that shit is nonsense if you're gonna time gate something then you need to make it less of a chore you you time gate you hid the the garmoth heart behind a time gate just make it 10 to 15 and stop wasting players time nobody cares to do that stuff and if you want it to be done on a regular basis you need to make it worth wild and this is just not this is not it five to seven increases garbage make that 10 to 15 to 20 i don't make it 20 who cares like just stop making players have to sit behind time walls nobody likes that shit and um yeah this is kind of really it there's not really anything else left in here that i care to look at uh you guys can again go over it yourself if you really want to links down below but that is it i will talk to you guys in the next one Bye bye